Virginity remains a topical issue in Zimbabwe, and when we hear this word, we think girls. Virginity, however, applies to boys and girls, women and men. Society, however, does not seem to hold the men on the same measure of accountability they hold women and girls. If girls are expected to be virgins upon getting married, and they are not, who are they losing this virginity to? This reminds me of the issue of how women are treated as villains for abortion, when in my opinion the main killers of unborn babies in abortion are the men who refuse pregnancy and the responsibility, leaving women desperate to the waste of abortion. If we do not expect virginity from men, who do we think they are engaging in sexual activities with? Certainly our society also frowns upon relationships between young men and older women. So who are they having sexual activities with if we expect girls to be virgins when they get married? On the lens, which is brought to us by Say What Organization, I have a young man today, Saddam, to give us the youthful perspective on this. Hi and welcome to The Lens, where we talk about everything according to how the youth view it. Saddam, welcome to the studio. Thank you so much. Right, we have a hot potato today. Are you ready for it? Yes, I And guess. I love that we've got a man, a young man for that matter, who's swagged up and all that. We want to see behind all the swag um, what you think. So why are Zimbabweans so hypocritical when it comes to virginity? So before I can answer the question, I'll start by maybe taking a deep look into the question itself mm -hmm. and the word hypocrisy, right? Looking at the word, you know what it means, especially to our society, mm -hmm. the Zimbabwean society, how we are socially constructed. You see, hypocrisy is, is, is usually associated with deception, like pretending to have some beliefs that, that you don't. don't really follow. Right. Pretending to have beliefs that you really don't have, like if you are to look into it really, you will see that um, the Zimbabwean society, somewhere, somehow, you see, going to the issue of um, virginity, you know, each time I hear of the word virginity, people have actually termed it somehow. But if I may tell you, mm. virginity is not a magical word, but it's a social word constructed by the society, you see. Okay. So, can you retake the question now again? Then I'll answer the question. <laughs> So I, I think you've already started answering the question in the sense that you, you're kind of already uh, dispelling um, that. But my question was, why are Zimbabweans so hypocritical awesome. when it comes to virginity? Oh, okay, perfect. Now my answer, I think this all comes back to how we were raised as Zimbabwe. No. Yeah. From such a tender age, going to church, going to school, you're being told, you're being given a different definition of virginity, of exactly mm. what it is. And by the way, virginity doesn't only apply for females. Yeah. It also applies to men. Absolutely. You see? But when you go to churches, women virginity, when you are about to get married, you need to be still intact. Get it? Mm. You now the society is um, actually termed some of these things, like to say losing virginity. Mm. By the way, there is no agreement of the meaning losing, what it really means, because in losing, Sometimes there is a benefit. So maybe what I will say about okay, how, how, how the society... So you're looks, saying we yes. must stop using the word virginity. Yes. I mean, we must stop using the word losing virginity. Yes. Because if someone participated in sexual activities freely, yes, they yes. did not lose they anything. They did not lose anything. They gave um, yes. themselves yes, to yes, someone. Yes. So yes. both men and women actually, wow, that is, I learned something today. When they say learn, I am learning. And I, and I think I agree with that, but please continue. Okay, awesome. So still on that one, mm -hmm. I think my final statement on this question, my final answer would be let's um, change the narrative. Like, let's change the name from uh, losing virginity or from virginity to say it was a sexual debate. You get it? A what? A sexual debate. You get it? I don't. Please you explain. You don't get it, right? <laughs> it was just a sexual experience. Okay. Not to say losing virginity. Like yeah. What is a loss? Right. Really but is it not that loss? society has got a right to express that someone has had their first sexual activity or intercourse and um, you know, for women, there's the hymen. I don't know what is for men. Um, that actually gets broken. 
Okay. So maybe it is, I think for sometimes we then want to throw away the water and the baby or the, 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 yeah, the water and the baby. Mm -hmm. Whereas maybe we've got a beautiful baby where we just need to throw out a, 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 a bad cultural practice to say, um, we, we, I think it's okay for, for people to acknowledge that someone had their first uh, sexual encounter mm -hmm. and they broke their virginity or whatever word we decide to say okay. is not synonymous with you know negative uh, uh, negative socialization kind of society take out oh she lost i can lose her virginity she got associated negative but maybe we can come up with just you know describing that mm -hmm. someone has had their first sexual encounter but mm -hmm. yeah please awesome so in conclusion to the person i will just say uh talking of virginity it should never be about the when, but, but the how, how part. Okay. Get it. I, please explain. Okay. What, what I'm saying is, is when, when the society, society talks about virginity, yeah. right, it, 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 it's mostly about when. Why did you do it? Mm. Get it. With who? How? With who? You see? But yeah. the how question is, is very important. Yes. Because you know what? what, what, what yeah. What, what, um, I get you. I follow you. Right, yeah. Is um, they lose virginity not willingly. Okay. You get the sense. Right. So the moment you talk so by about that we're now, saying their first encounter is not they they did not choose to have that. Some, yes, yeah. Some, most actually. Most, if yeah. if I'm following your line of thinking, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Most mm -hmm. not willing. And right. maybe for they were just at some uh, at a tender age. They didn't know what they were doing. Yeah. You get it. So you should never be able to go in or out. they were raped. A you lot of it. why I was thinking I'm following also over and above when they didn't know, understand the, what they were doing. It's also about many young women, um, especially when you're talking in the case of rape, are actually mm -hmm. raped by their boyfriends or the exactly. people they're in love with yes. and they don't know how to report. Yes. Um, but um, can I ask you a personal question? Okay. Are you a virgin? I think this question now, <laughs> it all depends with your own definition of virginity. Okay. Like what I said before. I tell you for some part I'm very Yes. No. And this is a matter of that. I'm just saying it all depends with your own definition of virginity. But please just answer me. Okay. How you, if you are my, if you are a my, virgin or not according to according to your definition and then explain your definition. <laughs> okay, awesome. So maybe if I may say yeah. according to Saddam twenty twenty one, I am a virgin. How is Plus, okay, what does that mean? Okay, awesome. For, for Saddam. Okay, what it means for me... Has Saddam means, lost his innocence or has he had the first sexual encounter? According to... I think the old, the old definition of Tango Manyana Ruga Saka, I think that's such a... Okay, awesome, awesome. <laughs> so now, um, if you are to say, um, is Saddam still innocent? I'm still 100% innocent. By the way. But the answer okay. of saying, um, if he had your first sexual encounter, <laughs> I think I'll answer that at the end of the show. I'll give me a shot. We're going to talk But, um, so, do we still have men who do not ask for sexual, um, you know, activities with their women uh, before they are married? Do we have such men? Yes, I may say they do exist. And maybe uh, men should not uh, be treated as a homogeneous group. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, do we have such yes, men? Awesome. So those people, they do exist. Because if you are to see, we have um, different type of people. We've got those men who, um, because of the society, because of how uh -huh. they were raised, yeah. get it, how yeah. they were taught, even in school, uh -huh. what they do is um, they say, I'm reserving my virginity. Uh -huh. There is one, right? I'm reserving uh -huh. my virginity uh -huh. for my wife. Uh -huh. So it means in that category already we have men in that category who were raised like that. And then secondly, we've got uh, this middle-aged group, get it, some of the people who are of my age. Uh. We are um, confused. Okay. What, what, what age are we society. looking at middle-aged? My guy, you are not middle-aged, you are very young. Uh, very young. You're very young. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm I mean, middle. you're below 35, right? Yes. So yes. you can't begin to talk about middle age. I deserve to belong to middle age. Okay, I think you talk about <laughs> what is the final age so that you can come up with the middle age. Okay. Yes. All right, please <laughs> proceed with that. So, okay, the second group of people uh -huh. that we have is of, um, of those men who are just conservative. Get it? 
Not because society has taught them anything or what, but they are just like that. They are naturally born like that. You never see them doing all sorts of things that most of the people for generation are doing, mm. you see. So my answer would be yes, they do exist. My, my question was, do we have men, oh, okay, so you're saying, because they are not having sex with, with girls, mm -hmm. therefore they're also preserving themselves. Yes, so they do exist. They do exist, yes. such men. Yes. Is it not that maybe um, they will be getting it somewhere else? Because I've, I've, I've seen type of, the type of men where sometimes they do not ask for sex. Maybe they are dating this woman that they want to marry, and then they do not maybe they agree with this woman just comes out forthright to say look um i want to save myself for marriage mm -hmm. um and 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 also let's also put it out there that when a woman says i'm not going to have sex with you or a man says i don't want to have, for us to have sex in this relation it doesn't necessarily it's got nothing to do with the fact that they're virgin they've yes. just made a decision that they don't want to right. get and then there's often uh, the pressure that comes with that but just coming back uh, to the issue of um, when men, men agree with their woman that we are not going to have sex, is it practical that they are exactly not having it or they are just agreeing to their woman that they want to have sex but they probably are playing mama game on the side? Okay. I think my answer to that one will be um, yes, it is practical. And there are men who are lying to their wives or their friends to say, let's wait until we are married. You see, and then we have sex, and maybe they might be getting it somewhere. Mm. Get it. But I will not answer for the rest of men. Mm. That would be misrepresentation. Okay. Because there is another part, there is another group, mm -hmm. get it? Like I said before, who are conservative. They reserve themselves, so they do exist, those, uh, such kind of men. Phew, it, is phew, phew, it will take me a day to believe what Saddam is telling us that they are actually men. Well, but n not that I don't believe. There are a few men out there who can preserve themselves and say, I'm not going to do this until I get married and I'm preserving myself for my wife. I don't really think that we're losing virginity. But what is actually happening is that even if you lose or even if you don't, you're gaining both sides. Because as it is mentioned earlier that you're actually abstaining, right? And then from abstaining from, from sexual activities, you're actually being saved a whole lot of baggage. We are talking about STIs, we are talking about cervical cancer. So we can actually say that you're losing if you're abstaining. And to those that are already sexually active, right, we're actually saying that it's, it's what you want. You actually made a consensus with whoever you, you, you're having those sexual activities with. So I can't actually say you're losing but you're actually gaining some experience as well. That we're now in the 21st century. Things are changing. People are indulging. People are having sex. And it's something that we can really run away from. So we need to engage so that we know how to have safe sex because we really need to know. Because right now, parents in England are just thinking that nah, they're not having sex. They're still virgins. But yet, people are sleeping around. So we still have... I think we still have quite some time because in order for to change what the parents already have in their minds, it's gonna just it's going to take some time. It's not going to be just one engagement that you're gonna be telling them, no, things are changing. It will take some time for them to really understand that and for them to really get it out there in their minds. Because right now, as we stand, nah, they say virgin is everything. So it's gonna take some time and what are you doing want to hear from you write on comment section let us know what you think we are on the lens and we are taking a quick break stay with us did you know say what now has a call center for information on sexual and reproductive health stay informed and never feel lonely in any situation, say what is there for you.
Welcome back. This is the lens where the youth talk about everything according to how they see it. And today I am enjoying a conversation with Saddam, who is from Say What, and Say What is the sponsor of this show, uh, together with many partners that you'll see. And so, Saddam, you have defined that you're a virgin according to your own, and I think that that's just a disclaimer. It gives us room to make own conclusions um, and even if I wasn't one I would also come up with my own definition of that <laughs> <laughs> or if you weren't one if I what? wasn't one <laughs> so um, <laughs> cause everybody, anyway so who is benefiting uh, Saddam from the whole halabaloo of virginity so that because I think Kwekutanga mm -hmm. you you already agree that there's hypocrisy and by hypocrisy kunye pera kwekuti vanu vanu expect out vanu achiru ma virgin iwo vanu kustori na maybe vanu wakawanda and I think I think from what my understanding and just viewing what is happening and all that in Zimbabwe you can almost see that I think um, um, the people are hypocritical in the way they view it but who benefits from from the whole uh, virginity drama. Okay, uh, so from the virginity drama, I think uh, from my own uh, point of view, I think men and the patriarchy of society are benefiting more from this drama. Hmm. Yes. Why? Okay, like, How? let's say, mm -hmm. okay, awesome. Yes, you know, have you ever seen that um, looking uh, in the history, even of us Africans, or even the imported history that uh -huh. we get from the West and, yeah. and so forth. You can see that there are men who say, no, I want um, my firstborn to come out from a virgin. Get it? Hmm. I want a virgin. I want a virgin. You see? So men are actually benefiting more from but this. But why the drama. obsession? Are they virgins themselves? Okay. Why are men obsessed with virgins when they are not virgins? How we were brought up. The but as a man, what do you think are the real reasons because it's just no, it, there's it, it, the statement that I want a virgin, I want my child to be born by a virgin. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. a peg statement. Why? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I think that, that, as I was saying earlier on, mm -hmm. to say it all goes back to how we were brought up. You see, like I'm Saddam, I was raised in a family, right? Mm -hmm. I went to church, I go to church, right? Right, right. Mm -hmm. And in those uh, places, you see. When we, we are at church, we call them they are safe places, right? Yeah. Where we talk, where we discuss. Mm -hmm. And most of the issues that are on the topic, the virginity of women and not men. So that's how we are raised. Yeah. So growing up with that mentality, I'll say, no, I would want a virgin. You see? Because what religion The why part you are not answering me. Uh -huh. I think I can link it to my next question. Okay, awesome. Why okay. is society so obsessed with controlling women's bodies? Because when you're telling me that I must be a virgin, mm -hmm. when men are not being held to the same measure, why should you expect me to be a virgin and a man not a virgin? Why controlling our bodies and our, you know the, the sexual activities that women do when we don't hold the same... Uh, to the men. If it, it, it's at church, why do we expect righteousness, righteousness from women and not from men? Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So I'll give you two answers. Yeah. Like the first one, I'll come to the other side of what the virginity drama has done for our women and young girls. Yeah. And then I'll go on to answer that one. Yeah. So what this has done to our women and our young girls is, you know, whenever it is being talked about the virginity issue and so forth, it, it is now being weaponized, like, uh -huh. against women, you see? Right. The reasons, like what I said, is more of the patriarchal society that we are living in. Uh -huh. we are li like, if you are to say, when a man says, I want a virgin, like, she's pure, uh -huh. what's the definition of pure? Right. Is it about penetration? Is it about the heart? What is it really about? No, when we're talking virginity, we're talking about penetration. It's penetration. What about for those... Um, when when, when you said you were a virgin, were you talking about uh, your heart? Okay, <laughs> awesome. So no, that's I'm where asking. we are now. Our wow, you are so kidding me right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but please continue. <laughs> okay, awesome. Like, what, what, I, what I was just saying, I think this... Yeah. Kutin, yes, we need to drama is there, but women are on the losing side about it. 
And why men, the obsession of controlling patriarchy. women's bodies? Patriarchy. And what is patriarchy? You see, now patriarchy, the society that we are living in right uh -huh. now, you get it? It is believed, like how we brought about, right? Uh -huh. say men should be the leaders and men decide what they want. Uh -huh. Still, we have, but we have women. So men continue benefiting, men, men continue giving the, themselves positions, yes, again, says, dominating women's bodies. Saying I want exactly. So we are not just dominating in the business world or socially, even on the bodies. Objective. I mean, when you say you we are not just dominating in the business world, you're also telling us that men are dominating women's bodies, demanding virginity when they're sleeping around. So who are they sleeping with? When, when you, as a young man, you move around sleeping, your family does not ask you or expect you not to sleep around. You move around sleeping around. But when you're about to get married, so who are you sleeping around with? Because one of the key things that I was going to mention is men, uh, uh, parents do not expect you to sleep with married women or to have relationships with married women. So who are you expected to be sleeping around with showing that you're a man? So that when you are coming to your getting married, you marry a virgin. Where do we have a population that is expected of girls who women can play with? A man, a young man, nobody cares. So you're allowed to sleep around. Who are you expected to be sleeping around? And then is there a section? Could we have a section? marriage? But there is a section that can preserve in this world. You must scan over the message. I need to understand. Society ya siyana, wana tete pa waka ukura, wana tete vedu. It was a must to be a virgin. So I nyad zisa, you were going to be a social outcast because of that. But then you could touch in my generations as siyana, this is the 21st, and if nichiri mandara tete, okay, fine, da kunzwai. But it's my choice, it's my time. If I feel like I want to engage in sexual activities and I actually know the right path, Tete, don't judge me. Or if you find out what I'm engaging, Tete, a-anka. Ngatisi aninaso. Even some people saying, humandara waka rema. Sunoto rema zo humandara. Kana za rema ma zuona, then let it be. Don't judge me. I have my reasons. Some actually are losing virginity due to rape. Most of the cases, it's rape. And, but can I, Tete, I mean, this is not good, and that's how they very close. Tete, you don't have the right, you couldn't judge up. Moreover, moving on, kuma denominations, kuma churches, they're actually churches that are still checking virginity from girls. And then after that, war exposed wa, per congregation, which is not good for both my mental health and for me. Ndicha, ndicha, how, how shall I live? And like, how shall I face all those guys? Maybe Pananga Chandrola Ningo in this religion, Anga Chisia. It's between me and him. And churches don't sugarcoat the issues. We actually know we are engaging in sexual activities. So don't sugarcoat like you are all virgins. No. If you are not virgins, then what are you doing about it? How are you going about it? And okay. So from my experience or from other people's experiences, losing virginity has two sides to it. There's a side whereby someone indulges after having the education that you can condomize, you can do this and this and that. But then it so happens there are others that don't have that education, that they're, they're not getting that education. So when they indulge, right, they don't know what to do. They don't know their condoms. They don't just, they just do it in raw and the guy's like, don't worry, we'll pull out, but you don't know their condoms. They're even female and male condoms, but then it later goes on to the lady might get pregnant and the guy will say, that's not my baby, I never had sex with you. And you'll find that in society, having a baby without being married is also a problem. So you might face rejection from people, you might even face because they say virginity is everything. So you might face rejection and even some other people might try to abort the baby. And then if you don't abort the right way, you have, you're prone to go through a lot of problems like loss of many blood, or you can even die. So it's quite a two-sided uh, question whereby you might have regrets if you don't have the proper sex education. And at the same time, you might have a proper, indulge properly because you have the education. 
what you're saying makes true sense. And it is happening. It's more like an illusion, a world within a world in man's mind. And, say, and 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 society's mind because exactly, yeah. you see, and society because society mind. actually na kanzo kuni Maria kuchajua hanzi yau mandar pakurora na kanzo kuni Maria umandara in the kashoke kan aye waje kuti hanzi actually there was this young man who shared the story chiti um aka piwa list ya kuno rora na teta kuda kuno rora okay. iye nemska na wakia barbu zo atis ma virgin okay. but aku no rora andi munu no send your list mm. in preparation mukoma na mpa list paka kato wanaote anzi pane list ya umandara yeah. and arzo wate akadana na mska na wakia siri mandara saka mska na wakia kutu pressure kutu chato ibisa mwombe yoyo but mkoma na wakia ee wakia ndoku ibisi re istuku zo wate kato rara tese kudara and then community so i'm saying it's just not the men but also even the barcoza vacho vanatete everyone is anticipating and the illusion the thinking good manuel dan for who's i mean varda kunyadza sana but but please continue <laughs> well that that is super super amazing i mean it is i think everything that we're discussing the questions i'm asking the point out to the hypocrisy kunyepera um, when we come back, we want to talk about the new Mombeye um, Umandara. It never used to be there, uh, but I heard uh, just recently that a young man was charged a couple of least in a Mombeye Umandara when he actually knew that uh, him and his girlfriend were already, were already having sexual activities. Uh, and when and this young man was actually claiming good to you, look, I don't care that my girlfriend was not a virgin because I have not I have been having sex as well, but I'm just shook by this family that's charging me Mombeye Umandara as though Van was at Mombeye Umandara when she's not anyway i mean that's crazy we want to talk about that when we come back stay with us this is the lens did you know say what now has a call center for information on sexual and reproductive health stay informed and never feel lonely in any situation say what is there for you Welcome back. This is the lens, and we talk everything according to how the youth see issues. And today we're talking about the issue of virginity. And the key word in our conversation is the hypocrisy that is around it, because um, we are not holding our men and women and or boys and girls in the same measure uh, of the righteousness that is usually expected from women. Uh, but Nanchida um, Kubunza Saddam, before we go um, further, to say what is the role of the church and tradition in making sure that we don't continue um you know pushing hypocrisy even in the church okay welcome. thank you so much so i think um both the church and tradition it is now high time that they stop lying okay. especially in the way that they brought about kids you see what you are taught when you are young and when you grow up you still remember those things you get it? yeah so it is high time now the society stops lying it needs to start telling the real truth about mm. these issues surrounding sexuality mm. and virginity. Like, if I may say, in church, we, women mostly mm. are the ones who are mostly being taught about. Don't lose your virginity. But also men, they also have um, their first sexual encounter. They also lose their virginity, right? Yeah. But we are, it, it's more like the society and the church are facing one side. Mm. The other eye is closed. They just look wow, the, okay. the church so, is closing the eye on boys and men. You get it. Right. So we need to focus, we need to balance now between both men and women. Hmm. Yes. Because if you are um, to look at um, the society, how they look uh, at virginity. No, maybe if I may say this, if whenever issues about virginity are talked about, mm -hmm. 
it, it becomes so violent. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Huh? Yes, politically, socially, religiously, and traditionally, mm. we do talk about our virginity. But in those discussions, it, it, it's more like it's an argument. Mm. Right? When we are talking about the, the, these vital and important issues. Mm. So that's when now we are saying both the church and the society, we need to go back to the drawing board and restructure how we look at sexuality. Mm. So do you think that you, you as young people, you still want to be held ac to account both men and women by young people, um, it, just building from what you've said that the church and tradition should both um, go back to the drawing board, teach both boys and girls about sexuality and when they're teaching about virginity, demand it from both. So are you as young people still um, prepared and willing to be held to account to your virginity? Do you think this, the, the tradition of virginity must be kept intact? Okay, so like just what I was saying earlier on, the virginity drama now, to the women, it's more like a disadvantage. Because mm. we're now judging them. Yeah. You see? Now society is, is now judging them. Kwa mombe, asiva rume ya vabu kuti mombe. Kwa inini kwa unon, iwo po ondi ro, kwa kudiwa mombe kumisha kwedi kwa kunzi virginity. In fact, my, it's actually my family that's betraying because exactly. if they are then charging mombe, could we to expect? Exactly. But uh, I, mombe, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And also, the society now, the parents, mm. they need to sit down with their children as they grow up. Mm. We need to have those uh, safe spaces within our houses mm. where, by myself, my mother, my father, mm. we can discuss issues about sexuality. Wow. You see. I mean, a young so, woman so, the last week spoke about the same thing. Yeah. 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 So, so that now when we get married, mm. like uh, if I was a woman, my husband would not see on the list written something about a woman. Exactly. What's that? What is that? You Are you, is there, because <clears throat> when, when my parents are asking for Mombe woman there, is there something that's going to hold my, my husband accountable? Because it's kind of saying, oh, our girl is a virgin. You know, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, so it does not make sense. Um, so when women um, go through the, you know, with the preparing for marriage, uh, they are taken through the kitchen parties. Usually, there's where they're told, "Oh, a woman does this, a woman does." A lot of it actually comes back to saying, um, you know, talking about abuse and all those things, and also they are being taught how to treat a man. Are men being taught the same things? Do we have platforms that are teaching men before they get married to on how to treat women? Thank you so much. I think maybe to us men, like now I'm a member of uh, the Mugota. Yeah. See, but it's for young men. Okay. Get it. So in such platforms... That's a say what program. Yeah, that's a say what program. Yeah. So in such platforms, that's when we get to know about these things. Yeah. That's when we are taught about sexualities in the Mugota conferences and all. But you were not, if you did not have access to Mugota, Mugota. you would not. Yes, yes. Do you, I'm sure you've got boys, your boys have gotten married who are not part of Mugota. Mm -hmm. So these men are just walking into relationships with the zero information about how to treat women. Exactly. And yet there's a lot of investment on how to treat men. Yes, you did. I think this is where the hypocrisy comes in. Um, so what are young people saying about virginity otherwise? I mean, we have to talking about society, um, you know, the church and everyone, but about you guys, what do you, amongst yourself, do you think it's important? Do you ask your girlfriend or before you get married to them, are you asking them whether or not they're a virgin or before you have your first sexual encounter? And are girls also asking you the same? Are they expecting you to have, to be virgins? Okay, yeah. You know, like, um, our generation now, uh -huh. like, the narrative has changed. Okay. Definitions of virginity have changed. You know, okay. say, to, talking about virginity mm. and some of these sexuality things in public, with our generation, it seems like it's a taboo. You get it? Okay. If someone asks you, are you a virgin? Yeah, like, what sure are you saying? Her, what are you saying? You see, she's actually diminished me or what? You get it? Mm -hmm. But those are new issues that need to be discussed. Mm -hmm. So basically, my view to what our generation think of virginity mm -hmm. is important or not. It all goes back to their mixed feelings. Uh, you get it. Their mixed feelings uh, to that crazy. Yeah. Some people restrain themselves to talk, to talk about virginity. Uh, some yes, they might not. They, they, sorry, some might not be virgins. Uh, some might be virgins, and they just restrain themselves. But they want to talk about those things. Yeah. But most of the guys, which I think is their right, though. Yesterday, 
Okay. To most of young people, it's a thing of yesterday. Okay. Like it's no longer happening and young people are not bothered by virginity. Yes. It only comes when they're getting married, then the interference and the oh, clash the of the generations. Now. Yeah, to say, okay, my goody mom be virginity. You're like, what are you talking about? Yes. We are good. Like this young yes. man is like, I do not care that my, my girlfriend was not a virgin. I now want to marry her. But the, and I can pay him on He was actually saying, to not embarrass my girlfriend, I'm going to pay him on yes. Yeah, but he was also complaining that he does not like the way his girlfriend is going about it. Um, you know, the attitude. But when I know uh, that she's not a virgin, but it's, it's, I think it's twisted. It must not be paid. Yes. You, as parents, I think there are many men but my hot heads will be like, I'm not paying that. And I think men should not pay Maria woman. That. And I think even women, we must refuse to be paid Maria woman that because we, we are also betraying our own selves. We are putting traditionally what used to happen is because those are some of the things I know whatever and I know but I think uh, these things must stop and if someone wants to then if you're doing this Murukuto kangani sa chivano. Because wa kurwe kudera wa wati, papa ninge wa rora, just opera, mumbia iso te indi skwa. Later, okay. I, eat, I eat demand we pa list, yes. because you are inviting drama. As we make you sense, because iwewe urukuda virgin, but iwewe unyewa mwa urukuda ranao. And it so virgin racho richa bakupi and it can I or could abstain then that's fine and it but can I or could I know no no one of one let's say could you know about four or five multiple partners and then unewa go or could save from that sex thing and then covers our five future or one nanny like it's being patriarchal it's not working at all what you should actually do is can you watch the virgin then don't don't walk around in your one way one leave them and it but can I, or if you're okay with it and it, to marry someone who's not a virgin then but i'm not supporting multiple partners i'm not saying have multiple partners but i'm saying can I, if you feel like fine i can't abstain i need a partner then get one but don't expect to have a virgin at the end so what's really fueling this virginity thing is basically how we're brought up. What we're told each day of our lives, uh, we're told that you should dress this so that you're not raped or so that uh, you, you don't have sex with another person or a guy doesn't get into you. So it fuels the virginity type of thing because it's being said everywhere and you're being taught to abstain. But right now in our generation, people are having sex all over. They're having sex and they're actually indulging. So it fuels everything because virginity is like the talk of the town. And some guy is like, I want a guy, I want to have a sex with a girl that has experience. So you tend to like, okay, so I'm a virgin, I don't have experience, what's the guy going to think? But at the same time, you're like, when you want to get married or when the guy wants to marry, the issue of are you a virgin comes in, what can do it comes in. So it fuels the whole thing whereby are you a virgin or not. So it's basically how we're brought up and the norms and the values that we have as a society. But what do you have to say as we conclude, my guy, to anyone, to the young people, to the older people about virginity? Okay, I think uh, my last contribution to the virginity drama and my message <laughs> to the young people is the person who knows whether they are virgin or not is themselves. Right. Get it? Right, I yeah. know if I'm a virgin or not. Yeah. You know if you're a virgin or not. Exactly. And, like and it's said, none of know, anyone's business. It's, it's none of anyone's business. Like yeah. I said earlier on, to say let's change the narrative, yeah. let's change the name from losing a virginity, it was just a sexual event. Yeah. It's just my first time sexual encounter. Yeah. You get it? That's right. how it should be. That's how it should be. Mm. And maybe just to, you know, there are many myths surrounding virginity and in closing of just saying, do you know that the word um, virginity itself is mm. a Greek word? Mm -hmm. And um, it comes from the Greek. And, and most people misquote it to say it's a spiritual word. 
and it's, it, it's a church setup or it's a church, whatever it is, right? But it is not. You know, in Greek, they actually use it um, in metaphorical sense, senses, right? Mm. Is it metaphorical senses? Depending on the context. Mm -hmm. It has different meanings. Okay. It's, it's not always about the high meaning. Right. Because, I don't know about the percentage, but many women, they actually don't have that high meaning. And R not all yeah. of them who have the high meaning lose it due to penetration of sex. Absolutely. Yeah. They can be sports. They, they can, can be, be sport. many things. Yes. Right. So, in conclusion, people should not be judged. First of all, you are a woman and you are beautiful, be a virgin or not, and you are the best of you and be the best that you can. Never be judged, never look down upon yourself. You can be married, happily married, without being a virgin. Not all houses, not all homes are built from virgins. So you're actually the best of you and never be, never allow anyone to deprive you of your happiness. Never allow anyone to poke on you. If they wanted to be virgin, then let them be because they and house virgin, avastoro virgin. So don't let it get to you. Be happy, be you. In everything that you do, know that there's a consequence. Wow. We had it from young men, and I think this is very progressive. I am a very, you know, Christian and spiritual woman. In the church, if we're going to hold our congregations to, to righteousness, we must expect righteousness from both men and women. If we think that we want to teach our boys and girls to preserve themselves for sex before marriage, it must also, you must teach them the pros and cons and why they're doing it. And it must, for, it must be for both men and women, boys and girls. And um, so for me, let's stop the hypocrisy. Let's stop controlling women's bodies in the in the in in, in the in the guise uh, of, of 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 Christianity or our tradition. There's no tradition that is discriminatory. There's no religion that is discriminatory. So let's stop, you know, um, selective application of 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 a culture. So this is the lens we want to see you next time. Have a good one. <laughs>